coming soon on the Watchtower History Channel. Our last several discussions have led up to this point. How did the Jehovah's Witnesses stand firm against the Nazi? How did the Jehovah's Witnesses back down our discussion on Rutherford's replacement theology? Will the real Jehovah's Witnesses please stand up? And who vindicates Jehovah's name? How did Rutherford come up with these ideas? And how did those doctrines shape the development of the Jehovah's Witnesses' belief and practices? Who were the people who influenced Joseph Franklin Rutherford's ideas? What were the influences on his thinking and doctrine? Why were the influences on Joseph Franklin Rutherford's thinking and doctrine significant for the development of the Jehovah's Witnesses? Where did it all come from? In this discussion series, Rutherford's Roadmap to Enduring Persecution, we are unveiling our extensive findings on Rutherford. After years of diligent investigation into where the Watchtower ideas originated from, we have compiled a vast collection of documentation and compelling evidence to be able to state emphatically, without question, as to the origin of many of Rutherford's doctrines. To ensure complete transparency, we will showcase all of these materials on screen, leaving no doubt about their origin, authenticity, and credibility. Okay, folks, here we are. We're finally here. The moment we have been telling you about for months and months, and the path and the roadmap we've built to finally discuss the roadmap. How did Rutherford get here? What made him, what brought him to this crossroad? Who was Joseph Rutherford? What went on in his mind? What was he thinking when he came up with these ideas? We're also going to take a look at those who influenced Rutherford. We'll show how he interacted with them, things that he wrote, things that he said about them, as well as the ideas that he borrowed for them. We'll illustrate this through history books. We've read over 100 history books on on these various individuals and subjects. We're going to illustrate this through documentary clips and thousands of slides of documentation. And what is important about this, and, and probably one of the most important details in this discussion, is what was going on in the world at the time? Did Rutherford absorb what others were saying? And does history have a way of forgetting what it did, particularly United States history, whitewashing clean, ugly parts that it doesn't want to make its image of? So was Rutherford a sponge, so to say, of a time period of confusion, anarchy, and, and other ideologies, and, and and coming to an age of society, mechanical revolution, industrial revolution. Did he absorb all that and it form and help him create his ideas? We're going to take a look at Rutherford's pre-Watchtower days and those who influenced him and exactly what those ideas were, ideas that he carried forth 30 years later to his Watchtower days, ideas that he brought forth 30 years later to become part of Watchtower Doctrine, ideas that he brought forth 30 years later to be his roadmap for the new religion, the new organization that he was building. 